So it's officially been more than two months ever since I started working on a 2D platformer game, and I believe it's a good time to stop, reflect, and evaluate the progress I've made so far. It all started early this year. One day, coming back home from my quantum mechanics class, I had a burst of inspiration on the bus. I remember running back home, sitting on my desk, and writing down every single idea that went through my head. I already had the title of a very cool game, Quantum Ruins. I loved the contrasting idea of highly advanced technology in ruins. I came up with some cool mechanics and story ideas, but I didn't know exactly what kind of game I wanted to develop. Fast forward to August 2019, I had the chance to play Hollow Knight for the first time and oh boy I had a great time with it. I loved the feeling of exploration and discovery and I just wanted to create a game which would deliver to the player a similar experience. And that's how my development journey began. At this point I only had very little game dev experience and almost no art experience whatsoever. But I believed in my ability to learn new skills so I just got to work. Also, on top of that, there are really no excuses in 2019 since you can find all the learning material you need online. So at first, I thought that I would go for an art style similar to Hollow Knight. So let me show you here my first attempt to non-pixel art sprites. Yep, they suck pretty bad. <laughs> so I decided to switch to pixel art. I got a sprite and bought some Udemy courses and tutorials online. I'm gonna leave all the links down below so you can check them out. And I just started practicing and practicing. Needless to say, my art is not the best, but I'm getting better and better and the sprites just got the job done. As for the engine, uh, I had already played a little bit with Godot earlier this year, so I thought I'd keep developing on this engine. I also bought a Udemy course for Godot. And of course, YouTube helped immensely as well. Here I need to do a big shout out to Game Endeavor, whose tutorials has helped me immensely. So now let's review what I've managed to develop so far during these first two months. So I've got a character with idle, run, jump, fall, wall slide, and impact animations. The character can also create an aura around him, shoot projectiles, break tiles according to the color of his aura, go through energy barriers, perform a melee attack, and teleport. He's pretty badass, to be honest. I've designed two separate tile sets. I've got a rock grass tile set and a ruined tile set, which allow me to create some pretty interesting levels. I've got a hazard area to make the platforming more challenging, in a cool ruined enemy which can detect the presence of the character and charge at him in full speed. You can also just step on it without getting damage, which is pretty fun. I also started implementing an energy point system which is used to perform any test in the game, and the points that you get are displayed in the upper corner of the screen. Looking at everything that I've done so far, I think it's important to identify the top three things that I'm the most proud of. So at third place, I would put the aura system. Even if it's still far from perfect, I really love the idea of having to match the color of the aura to interact with the environment and the enemies. This can be used in a lot of creative ways to make the world navigation more interesting and the enemies more challenging. Imagine here, for example, a blue enemy that you can only damage with blue projectiles or an enemy that would be red on one side and golden on the other side, so you need to switch the color of your projectiles to deal some damage. The Ruined Style set takes the second spot here because it was the hardest thing that I ever do, and overall I got a very satisfying result. I'm particularly happy with the statues and the column tiles. And finally, the thing that I'm the most proud of is definitely the teleport mechanics. This was the hardest thing that I've ever gotten in my life. Also, since I couldn't find any good information online about how to implement a teleporting system, I just had to use creatively the tools I already had in Godot to make it happen. And after hours upon hours upon hours of unsuccessful tries, seeing the character correctly teleport his way through the map felt like a big success for me. And 
And finally, I'd like to end the video with the three things that definitely need improvement. First of all, the camera. It doesn't follow the character as it should, and overall, it feels pretty unresponsive. Then I definitely need to work more on the transition between different states, which sometimes doesn't work correctly, and it doesn't feel too natural. Sometimes the character transition from fall to run and idle, or from idle to run and back in a very weird way that definitely needs some work. And finally, I definitely need to improve on the overall input system. Some tasks require you to hold the button, others don't, and I still need to find a good balance between having to hold buttons and making a game which is fun to play. I don't want the input system to feel like a barrier for the player to enjoy the game. But overall, I'm very proud of the work I've done so far, and I'm looking forward to improve upon the game and make it even better. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in a comment down below what you thought about this kind of different video. Uh, do, do you like this format? What do you think about the game so far? And feel free to share any ideas or suggestions that you may have. And again, I hope you guys have a great, great day, and I'll see you soon in my next video.